as long as the 3D printing trees come to CNC routing, more and more plastic waste is predictable. It's time to reduce boxes of plastic. Hi, welcome to Slow Engineering. I'm David. FDM 3D printing with support materials is the primary source of waste. Others are failure prints or one-time prototypes after modifying the models. It is not environmentally to incinerate or landfill these plastic parts. Recycle is a better option for them. Most FDM 3D printing parts without pollutions can be recycled and reformed into filament again, or made into others like injections, sheet press, etc. Here comes an idea of building a shredder. A compact and crushed shredder make for residential use. Usually, a shredder machine comes with a shredder box itself, a motor with a gearbox to increase torque, a coupling mechanism to connect the power system to the shredder, and a control system to control the speed and torque on the motor. First, let's talk about the shredder itself. Most common shredders can be roughly divided into single shaft and double shaft. Double shaft shredders are more like swallowing the parts into two shaft blades making the output materials difficult to control size. On the other hand, single shaft shredders are efficient in repeatedly threading until the threads are smaller than the mesh holes. Here you might ask, why double shaft shredders cannot have a mesh? If you watch details about the shredders, it is easy to find out most of them have fixed plates on the sides. These fixed plates has two main functions. One is for preventing the threads from being stuck between two blades, and the other is providing edges for blades to stop materials like single shaft shredders. Single shaft shredders only need a side with fixed blades to work. The other empty sides will help to lead the materials back to the upper sides and shred them again. These actions will not work once you still need these fixed blades to clean gaps between blades. It will block the large materials at the bottom of the shredders. And that is why it is inefficient to have a mesh on double shaft shredders. Now the second part is the motor. A high power motor with a gearbox provides tremendous torque for threading. But it also comes with its size. The big size motor becomes a drawback to place a shredder indoors. To have a compact solution, the motor size and its torque ability need to assess. The power source is another feature that needs to be considered. Unlike large industrial shredders with 3 phase 220 volts or high voltage, the shredder needs to be able to plug into a regular house socket. Motors generate more torques when they run slowly. A gearbox not only increases the torque but also decreases the speed of the output shaft. With shredder application, an acceptable output speed on the shaft with maximum torque is critical. The third part is the coupling. Some shredders directly couple the motor to the shredder shaft. Another use is to connect spur gears to both shafts. And the other solution is using a chain. A directly connected coupling needs to pay attention to the axle alignment. An angle between two axes might cause severe damage to the motor or shredder size. The spur gear setup strands has multiple position options to place the motor. And the chain drive shares this advantage too. But the chain drive has more power efficiency and prevent failure from the shredder. It is also more flexible between the center distance of two shafts. The last one is the control system. It needs to be featured with rotations in both directions to reverse the materials when the shredders is stuck. And an emergency stop is necessary for safety. Or a controllable speed to increase output efficiency. Here is the basic of the shredders and its build concept. Did I miss anything you think is important? Leave a comment below to share your thought. Don't forget to like, share this video and subscribe to this channel to find out more projects on this recycling journey. Or consider becoming a Patreon member to support more projects in the future.
There is also an online shop link in the description if you need custom part service. Thank you for watching and see you next time.